All right, today I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to get a custom skin in uh, Pixelgun World. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need is a Minecraft skin texture. It can be any Minecraft skin, like a, uh, a classic format or um, a 64 by 64. I'm gonna show you how to change it since uh, Pixelgun uses a 64 by 32. So once you have your skin, we're gonna use the original newbie here from uh, Pixelgun. Uh, go into any image resizer. Uh, this one is called Pixel Brush. So you just look it up. It has a purple icon uh, with a paintbrush on it. I'll sh show a picture when I edit this video. Uh. Um, you can see uh, on this skin, there's like this black stuff on the second layer for his uh, his head. That's not going to show up in game, but I don't want it there. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm just going to fill this with transparency so we get rid of it. All right. And uh, if your skin is in 64 by 64 format, like most Minecraft skins are now, you're going to want to change it to 64 by 32. So basically, you're just cutting off the second leg and the second arm in the bottom there. And uh, you're just going to line it up with that uh, this bottom line here. Because Minecraft skins now just use the old format with an extra space down here for the second arm and the second leg. So we're just going to change it back to the old format. So you can do it really simple in this this app. All you have to do is half the height and don't select resize image. And there you go. Then you're just going to want to save it. Uh, in this app, don't enlarge it and don't put <clears throat> white underlay. I think you can put white underlay, but it's just safer not to. But I don't enlarge it because that might make it not work since Rob Dev said you can't import HD skins. So anything that's not... 64 by 32. So once you have your skin in 64 by 32, if you edited it on your phone, uh, just upload it to like a cloud service so you can get it on your PC. And then we're gonna hop over onto the PC for the next step. All right, so now that we're on the PC, we're gonna wanna get our skin from our cloud service. Then you're gonna wanna download Unity Asset Bundle Extractor. I'll leave a link for it in the description and just go to releases down here and 64 if you're on a 64 bit operating system which most of you probably are 32 is like from the stone age you should be fine if you just click this extract it and then inside the extracted folder there is going to be unity asset bundle extractor right here and then you're going to want to uh, run it then you're going to want to go to file up here at the top open then go to wherever you extracted pixel gun world to so right here, I have it in documents, and then you're going to want to go, you're not going to want to select anything in this folder. You're going to want to go into games, pixel gun 3d new, pixel gun win data, and then control a in here just to be safe. I mean, I think the only thing we're going to be editing is resources.assets. So if you want to just select that to make this whole searching process easier that we're about to do, you can do that. I just select everything in here just to be safe. All right, now once it's all imported, you're going to want to go to Assets, and then you're going to want to click on Name to put them all in alphabetical order. I don't think you need to press Name here to put them in reverse alphabetical order, because I'm pretty sure by default they're already in alphabetical order. So if you just press Container, that should just group the containers together and have them in normal alphabetical order, not flipped. So if you want to do that, you can. Then you're going to want to click on Container. And then that should put the containers in order. Then you're going to want to scroll down to S. Yeah, because we're looking for skins textures right here. And you can see all the names of the skins here. I usually, since <laughs> I can't really keep track of which skins I replaced. I know I replaced Vampire Boy and a bunch up here. I usually just do them in alphabetical order. So sometimes clicking on name and container will flip alphabetical order. So you can see uh, skins textures right here. We have zombie as the first. So if you're going in alphabetical order like I am, you're going to want to go all the way down to the bottom to find A. Right here we have adventure girl skin, ancient god, uh, angel girl, all that sort of stuff. I know I replaced up to skin seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would be Batman. So the next unedited skin I have available is battle medic skin so we're going to replace this one with our minecraft skin and to do that you just click on it then you go to plugins over here then you press edit 
and then in this menu you're going to press this load button then it's going to open up a file picker right you just go to the skin you downloaded right with 64 by 32 press it open it and then press ok and what that should do is replace the battle medic skin with your custom skin and then after you have that you're going to want to press file apply and save all and then this is going to save a resources.assets file so don't save it in pixel gun win data don't do that because uh it's going to ask you to replace it and it might have trouble saving so what i do is i go to my biggest drive so my d drive and then you can see i already have one here right and then what you want to do is get rid of this dash mod at the end here but uh since i already have a resources.assets i could just click on this to get rid of it and then uh delete since i will no longer be needing that that's an older version and you just press save and it's gonna ask me to replace it it's already deleted but whatever all right okay another thing i uh forgot to mention here is after you press apply and save all and save your file sometimes uni asset bundle extractor will hang like the application will freeze a bit if you just click on it just wait until the loading symbol on your mouse goes away and then you should be safe to close it just don't close it while it's hanging because that means it's saving the file and it might break stuff or just your skin won't apply so just wait until it's done doing what it's doing and then we're gonna want to find it in our d drive yeah it's right there okay i just want to check is it modified at yep it got updated okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this resources.assets we're gonna want to go back to where our pixel gun world is extracted so right here in my documents it will be wherever you extracted it on your pc you're gonna want to go to games pixel gun 3d new pixel gun win data and then once you get into this folder you can see we have our resources.assets here you're just going to paste the resources.assets in this folder and then you're just going to want to simply click replace the file in this destination and then wait if you get this that means that our uh, our copied file is just active in asset bundle extractor so what you're going to want to do is close it and then try again and come on this can take a while so and once it replaces, you should be fine. So you can just open up uh, Pixel Gun World down here. And we'll see if it worked. Alright, now once we're in here, we're going to want to go to this shop. Then go to Skin. And then you can check in this menu if it's replaced. You can see I've already replaced a few in here. Um, yep, yep, yep. We're just going to look for it. Ooh, is that our guy? Battle Medic? I think so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that. All right, so at this point, if you buy this skin and use it, people won't see your custom skin. You will be able to see it, since it's obviously in the game right here for us to see. But other people won't see you as your custom skin. So this next step is going to allow you to um, wear a custom skin that other people can see. So what you're going to do is you're going to buy a new custom skin slot if you don't have one. Then you're going to edit it. And it'll bring you to this menu. From here, you can just scroll down to wherever the skin you swapped is. It may take a while to find it. Ah, and there he is, Battle Medic, right there. And then you're going to want to buy it. And then you're going to want to click on any body part of the skin. I'm going to just do the head. Then click on any pixel to replace it. And then press uh, undo right here. And once you have that, you can go back and then press save. And now you have your custom skin, press save, and then give it a name. I'm going to call it Pixel Man. Okay. And it'll freeze for a bit <laughs> while it saves the skin. And I think it's good. Yeah, you've got them. Now you can go back and equip and you've got your custom skin here now this will show up to other people and uh yeah that's how you get a custom skin in pixel gun world <laughs>